making an HTML resume. In this overview, we'll cover how you should design your resume on paper first. Use a table to organize it. See previous videos for how to build tables in HTML. Use links to your email, to your employer, to your school, to your homepage. And don't forget, this is a resume. Let's spell it correctly, please. The first thing you want to do is design your resume on paper. Figure out the basic layout and notice how a table can really help you organize this so education, experience, and references can have lists on the other side and keep everything lined up. The next thing you want to do is do a rough markup. Maybe write up on the page some of the code that needs to happen, such as where to put the acute ease to spell the word resume, what you might want to be headlines. Don't forget, mail to is a good way to turn your email address into a workable link. And in the table, don't forget, let's build lists to organize our education, schooling, and references. Someplace on here, we need to have a link back to your index page. And let's not forget to have a link to one or two of the locations, such as your school or your job. I've copied my Lab 4 and named the copy Lab 5. I'm going to go into the Pages folder and make a brand new web page. New, text document, and I'll call this resume.htm. Yes, I need to change the extension. I'll right click, choose Open with Notepad. I'll go ahead and manually type in all the required items. We need our HTML tag. We'll need an ending HTML tag. Let's add the head. Don't forget to turn it off. Within the head. Let's add the title section. Now let's stop right here. We'll have to fix resume into resume later. Now for the body tag. And the ending body tag. We'll need BG color equal and some value. Background equal and some file name a base text color and some value, a link color and some value, and v-link and some value. I think I'll make my background brown. My background image, well let me switch back to my folder. From pages I can go back one step to lab 5. I'll use parchment. dot dot slash to get out of the pages folder images slash to open up the images folder and the file was named parchment one dot gif i think i'll make my text brown my v link and links shades of black and gray i'll save my changes switch back to my folder and double click to start looking at my masterpiece. Oh, I see my parchment background is in place, but that bothers me up here. Let's fix that. Back in Notepad. All special characters start with the ampersand. Then the number sign 0233 semicolon. And we'll do the same with the last E. Replace that with ampersand. Pound sign 0233 in a semicolon. We could also use E acute. Save my changes. Switch to the browser and refresh. 
starting to look good. I need to add my contact information. After the body tag, resume. How about I just borrow this spelling up here? Copy, paste. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I'll just put in some placeholders to give you an idea. Save my changes, switch to the browser. I'll need some headlines, and I'll need to list up my contact information. But the next thing I need to do is start building my table. I'll put in a break tag. Let's start the standard one-by-one one empty table. Turn off the table. Subdivide the table into a row. Turn off the row. Subdivide the row into a detail. Put in a placeholder. Turn off the table detail. Let's add a border so we can see what we're working on. Save my changes. Switch to the browser and refresh. There's my table. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm working on. It's with design. I'm going to need two details on each row and a total of three rows. In Notepad, I need two details on each row and I'm going to need three rows. I'm using copy paste. This will be education. This will be experience. This will be references. Save my changes. Switch to the browser and refresh. It's getting there. Back in Notepad. I'll need to list. I'll just put in one or two for the time being. University of Texas El Paso. Break. University of North Texas. Save my changes. Switch to the browser. Obviously, you're going to need to add more information than I'm putting in here, but this could be done very easily and organized properly with a list. I'll start off an unordered or bulleted list. I'll turn off my unordered or bulleted list, and every place I wish to have a list item, I'll put in an LI tag. If it makes it easier, don't hesitate to use the white space. This is just the second detail. If I needed to, first row, second detail, and a comment. Do whatever it takes to help you organize and see what you're working on. If it helps you to line everything up on the left-hand margin. By all means, line it up on the left-hand margin. Save my changes. Switch to the browser. And you can see I'm starting to build this up. As an example, under Experience, I'll put Temple College. Again, you should be adding lists to organize this information. Save my changes. Switch to the browser and refresh. Now, one of the things that I need to do is make sure that I'm adding the appropriate links. So let's see if we can't make your email a link, your school or your employer a link. And don't forget, we need to make a link back to our index.html, our home page. In Notepad, I'll add my email address. make this into a link. I surround it with the anchor tag. The beginning anchor tag, the ending anchor tag. This will be a mail to. And we put in our email address. Save my changes. Switch to the browser and refresh. Let's make Temple College a link as well. Surround the text with the anchor tag. Here's our beginning anchor tag and our ending anchor tag. And this will be the full URL http colon slash slash www.templejc.edu 
save my changes, which to the browser, refresh. Let's test it. The link works, and the back button works. Again, link and vlink colors will not work properly until we move these to a server. Finally, we ought to have a link back to our home page. After the end of the table, I'll put in a break tag. Back to home. All links start the same way. A, href, equals, and some value. We have our text. We turn off the anchor tag. Let's take a look at our folder. I'm working on resume.htm. In order to see index, I need to go back one step. To code, go back one step, dot dot slash. I don't need to open another folder. I simply need to name the file index.html. Save my change. Switch to the browser and refresh. Let's give that a test. Here's my index.html. I've got a link to page one and a link to page two, but I do not have a link to my brand new resume page. I need to open that up in Notepad. Back in Lab 5, right click index.html and open with Notepad. It's not that I'm lazy, I'm just efficient. I'll copy an existing link and paste it below. This will be to my resume. Hey, I happen to have resume spelled right over here. Again, I'm not lazy, I'm efficient. Copy, paste. Look at the structure. From index, I would have to open up pages. So from index, I'm opening pages. Then I could name the file resume.htm. Name the file resume.htm. Save these changes. Switch back to that browser and refresh. Click the link. There's my resume. And back to home. Once I finish adding all the dates, duties, etc., I'll be ready to save the resume one more time and submit it.